Hi Capricorn, Rai here, sending you some positive vibes. <clears throat> um, gonna do a quick reading for you guys. It's for a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South node. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Please and thank you. Five cards, please. We'll take it. I don't know what it was, but it tried to flip. Ooh. With the Five of Pentacles, it's a sort of financial loss or feeling left out in the cold. It also has to do with um, having a lot of worry. I have this the Seven, um, the Chariot card. Um, it makes me think that there may be something coming um, really quickly that may cause you to worry. Capricorn and that you may want to think and and move fast with the the knight of swords but I'm going to recommend that you not do that um, there may be a situation that requires you to have a lot of willpower also with the chariot card and what it makes me think is it makes me think of a situation <coughs> That if you act too fast, you can actually um, be stuck worrying. We have the Ace of Swords, which is about having a realization or an epiphany, some sort of clarity. Um, I'm going to recommend looking at things from all angles, different perspectives to help prevent the Seven of Swords. I feel like something's going to come fast that can cause worry. And you may want to act really quickly, but really quickly acting can, um, or thinking too quickly before actually putting thought into it, um, can create some drama for you. Somebody might be trying to get away with something, so they're going to make something seem urgent to you. Two more cards, I feel. Uh. Okay. Oh. It might have to do with money. Somebody or somebody may want you to give. Somebody might ask you for help. Um This can be taken two ways. Somebody could be asking for help and it's something that they're having sleepless nights about and they're trying to build up the courage to ask. Or somebody is asking for help and you could be in this energy. The Nine of, the nine of Swords. I'm gonna say that more than likely is you because this is worrying too. A financial loss and that can happen if you're not brave enough to speak up for yourself and to say no and be strong enough to tell a person they have to wait don't jump the gun and make a financial choice to help someone excuse me I think sometimes people take our kindness for weakness um, Oh, look at that. It's the Knight of Pentacles. It's all about being grounded and having patience. Don't, don't act too quickly. Some more cards. 
I said five. I can never. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This. Oh. It's the Empress and the Emperor. The Empress and the Emperor. This could have to do with... Why did I just think of marriage? Somebody may be wanting to be in a relationship. And I'm going to recommend taking your time. I see the Empress card. I see the Emperor card. I don't know which one is you or which one is the other person. But for quote for the reading sake, let's just say masculine energy. This is the person that's coming in and feminine energy. This is the person that's coming in. And this person may be coming in with strategy. And a person does not have to be broke to take from you. This is about being mindful, making sure there's an equal give and take, making sure there's not a financial loss, um, having the willpower, willpower with the chariot card. Having the willpower to push through. Not being so quick to make a decision, even though you might want to. I think this is about you guys coming from a place of love for yourself and not acting as quickly as you have in the past. Not acting as quickly as you have in the past. Really having find, having and finding clarity in regards to a situation and being mindful of anything that may put you in this energy where you're having sleepless nights and nightmares, anxiety, and somebody trying to get away with something. I think this is about you guys being strong enough to know because too many times we make a story up and we go with the story that's easiest for us to swallow even though it's not true sometimes. What is this card? Yeah. You guys have to take your time so that you are not having regret. This is about not having regret in the future. No longer ha putting yourself in a position to where you'll have regret, Capricorn. There's no more room for regret in your life. No more regret. So I'm going to leave you with that. This is about taking your time to decide. I feel like somebody's coming with an offer. Somebody's tell something's telling me to pull this card. Yeah. You guys may have to make a judgment call. And I know that's an awakening card too, but you guys may really have to make a judgment call. So I'm going to leave you with that. That's what I have for you guys, Capricorn. Um, thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. I think this is just pretty much a warning of somebody to come and to do what's best for you and not allow somebody to rush you. Because with this card, it could be somebody trying to rush you. Somebody trying to rush you. Come in fast. Take your time. This is about what's best for Capricorn now. It's Capricorn season. I don't care what anybody says. Love you guys. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.